Hey guys, welcome back. So today, we're playing some Crash Bandicoot. Three to be exact. And I have my cousin here. Say hello. Hi. You don't need to talk directly into the mic, you know. They should be able to hear you in the background. So hopefully this decides, cool, it's loaded. Okay. So this is one of my favorite games. Um, From my childhood, I know my first console was a uh, PlayStation. So I'm gonna shut up while this cutscene plays. Uka is free. No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. Wait, what is that thing in the background with all that movement? I'm sorry. Oh. It's that guy. They just like cut him off and then sent sentence. Children, Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do so. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. Okay. So, if this decides that it would like to load, here we go. So, we're in the overworld here. You can do the classic spin. The little drop. He looks so stupid! Look at his face! Oh man, I love this game. Okay. So before I start any levels, I want to uh, say that yes, my orange cream cheap exposed video was in fact a joke. I have recently, in fact, the last one was I think like two hours before recording this, something like that. And the newest one was like a few minutes before recording this. So yes, it was a joke. Uh, him and I are actually friends. Oh hey, speaking of, that that is absolute amazing timing because I actually got a reply, which I I am going to in fact read out right now. <laughs> um, so I said, he was like, is this whole video a joke? 
I know OCS like a brother, and I know this isn't true. I can tell you, I can tell you what isn't right about this. So I said, "Yeah, lol. It it was a joke." Favorite part was the face reveal. But yeah, he's cool. I know. And then he replied, "I know. Just making sure you weren't some idiot off the street." Uh, it's nice. He's a good sport. Thank you. Uh, say hello to YouTube. My channel, at, at least. So yeah, go check out Orange Cream Cube. He's funny. Oh dang, that was smooth. Crash, crash. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh look, I have a mask helping me too. We will find so I'm probably gonna do like two levels, soon enough. maybe, just so that the series can um go on for more than like five episodes. And sorry for the inactivity as well. Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. I'm sorry, okay? I'm obsessed. I meant to record over the weekend, but obviously that didn't happen. So uh, I am sorry, loyal fan base. And fan base that isn't actually loyal and just stop by for one video please stay <laughs> I'm kidding if you don't enjoy my content then you can just go I, and I'm not saying that as a mean thing but like I'm just saying don't feel like obligated that just because you came once doesn't mean like you have to stay for the entirety of my YouTube career. You know? Alright, cool. Let's go up top here. Let's get all these crates. So that I can show you guys the most amazing part of this game. Oh. Gotta get all the Wumpa Fruits. Here we go. Boom. Okay, let's just get every single one fruit. So we can get all of those extra lives. <laughs> Sorry if I take this a bit slow. Um, I take my platformers pretty slow most of the time. So, uh... Yeah, sorry if you don't like watching people play slow platform platformers. Blah. Oh my god, I can't not speak today. But yeah, if you don't like people who play platformers slowly, stay away from this series. Um, yeah. Also, if you haven't noticed, uh, my cousin had to go. So... Yeah. Oh god, I hate that guy. It's so obnoxious. So obnoxious, man. Yeah, I got the gem. Yay me! Now, prepare yourselves. Prepare your butts for the best part of this entire game, okay? I don't think anyone is ready for this. Okay. Normal, right? Here we go. The crash dance. Oh, it's great. Oh, I love it. It's too good. Okay, here's one of my favorite levels in this entire game, Under Pressure. This is a water level that I actually legitimately enjoy. And that's saying something, because I hate water levels. They are the absolute bane of my existence. So if you can get me to enjoy a water level, like, yeah, you've done a pretty good job. Like, it does move slower and everything, but it just, it just feels better, you know? It, it just 
feels nice for and I mean for an early 3d game too I mean I guess this wasn't super early or anything but like even still like the the movement is fun the enemies are great they have some really nice mechanics and some really nice areas too and I just love Crash's little diving suit. I've always hated this section. Yeah, I killed it. Oh, that's not a good thing, actually, that I should be saying. Well, Bruce said that only fish were friends, not food. Oh, oh geez. That silly little puffer fish. Yeah, this is a great level. Great water level. If you guys are able to find, you know, a Crash Bandicoot sheep, um, although, actually, never mind, because I know they're coming out with, a. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Remastered, because I'm not an idiot. I wish I had filmed my reaction to that, because I was more hyped than a Keemstar on G Fuel. No. But seriously, though, I, I was so hyped for that. That was literally my favorite announcement of it, of the entirety of E3. Like, no joke whatsoever. That was so hyped. Like, Skyrim Remastered, that was cool, but, like, every, and I was, like, when, when they started playing the Crash Bandicoot music, and I'm, like, wait, 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 and then everyone else was just, like, silent in the theater that, as I was watching, because I had been completely spoiler-proof that entire day, just in case something huge had happened, you know, I wanted to make sure that I wasn't being spoiled, you know, because that would have stunk, and so, without even realizing, going into it, because uh, it was a school night, and the Sony press conference was on too late for me to watch, God, right, and so I had no idea what was coming. And then everyone else was silent in the theater, right? And then they start playing the full-on orchestra version of the Crash Bandicoot theme. And it's like, why is everyone so silent? It's like, come on, man. It's like, does no one else realize that it's Crash Bandicoot? And it's like, yo. I thought only gamers went to E3. If you call yourself a gamer and yet you don't know what the cra what Crash Bandicoot is, then you're not a gamer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Some people just are didn't have like. I mean, I'm not. As you can probably tell from my voice, I'm not a '90s kid. Kind of cl pretty close to it, but I'm not a '90s kid. Luckily, my sister. What? Uh, oh my god. Wait, no. No! Screw it. Yeah, whatever. But, yeah, so my parents had a uh, an old PlayStation and I used that so much. Oh, it was great. And I found, ended up finding this game at a yard sale. Or not a yard sale, flea market. Because I used to go to flea markets. But anyway guys, I'm going to leave this episode off here. Uh, make sure you guys check out Orange Cream Cheap if you haven't already. Uh, great content. Better than mine. By far. Uh, please, please. I, 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 I need... I need stuff. <laughs> I have no money. 
Um, but, um, yeah, so make sure you guys check it, check him out, um, yeah, check him out, um, subscribe if you like his content, if you like this video, let, leave a like, um, if you really like it, subscribe, and, hmm, I feel like I'm missing something here, um, Go check out some other videos. Uh, oh yeah, uh, if you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell so you can no get notified when I upload. And let's see, is that it? I think that's it. Uh, if I forget anything, then yeah, I can put it in afterwards. Bye guys.